Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and I want to jump right into your reading here. This is a general reading for the month of July. So let's see what the overall energy is. A higher power, okay. Coming in, being very calm, staying really true to yourself. Beautiful energy. No place like home, Virgo. Are you a homebody these days? Usually you're at work. So no place like home is a beautiful card though, right? And peace. All right, Virgo. You are having a happy month, my friends. Now, after I put all the cards out for the 10-card Celtic, we'll do a table shot for you so you can see the cards as I go through the energies and explain how I think the month will unfold for you. Let's see. I like to give very practical advice to things I think will be happening literally, not just metaphorically. Matt, the Magician, look at you. That's your card, Virgo. That's your card. You are a magician. You and Gemini, Mercury ruled, have all the tools. You always know how to plan well. You might even be collaborating with a Gemini. Look at this. Nine of Cups. Virgo, what are you so happy about? You have reason to celebrate this month. You're feeling quite special. Look at this. We have the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Virgo, Taurus energy. That is Earth sign mastery. That's where the Knight of Pentacles goes. Your, your card to the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords energy. You have been all up in your head about something. You've been watching online. You've been watching somebody online. We see the Page of Swords. But, you know, typical. Everybody goes online and watches, right? Uh, so it does look like you're getting information online. It could be about a person that you're close to. You could be watching them. Usually it's quote unquote quote, considered the spy card, but somebody's watching you. Now, if you don't have an online presence, we know who is watching whom, right? Because some Virgos are just really not that big on social media. Some are. The King of Swords energy, look at that. That's very strategic energy. King of Swords energy is Aquarius energy. You're coming into a different way of thinking about things. You're willing to let go of some of the things in the past, and you definitely are trying to get out of your head, but it looks so there's a lot of eyes on you. You feel like you don't have any private time. All right, so let's see in the near future what energy you have. Eight of Cups, you're going to leave someone, something, a situation, a job. You're going to leave something behind. You're doing it strategically. You're doing it with great care and consideration. So we will clarify, as always. Okay, what else do we have here? Eight of Pentacles. So you are, that's your card, Virgo. So, you know, you are learning something new every day. It looks as though you may be leaving one job to go to another, and it looks as though you might be going back to school for some, not a lot, but with that page energy it could be. Your biggest fear is being taken advantage of and used. Somebody around you, you feel, has been dishonest with you. You feel as though, uh, it's a fear though. What I like about this is a placement in the 10 card Celtic, this is hopes and fears. So unless you hope to deceive somebody, and I don't think you do, um, you're hoping someone does not deceive you. Your outcome cards for the month of July all fell out. There are four of them. We have the Eight of Swords. So you are waiting strategically. You can see when you look at this card that you can escape the cage, the bird cage, and you're an angel, right? You're trying to be, you're, you have the Sun card, Leo energy. Happiest card, happiest card in the deck. So you're holding yourself back on happiness, but you want to break out of jail. You want a get out of jail free card. That's how I'm reading this. And it looks as though the Queen of Cups. You may give a jail, like, you may give someone their freedom. Um, that card can go vice versa. But the Queen of Cups says that you really want your happiness. You want to stop feeling defensive. You want to stop holding back. Again, I think for many of you, your work life is excellent. Let's look at this deck here. I call it the deck, right? Man on deck, woman on deck. Okay. 
So as I look at the energy, there is a very strong component that you are life, you are doing some real work on yourself. You've come out of a very, very, I think a dark, you know, a dark winter of season, season of winter. A little dark night of the soul here. You're very much focused, Virgo, on your wealth. It looks like you're going to have great success in that. The page of the page of swords in this deck is especially interesting. And the reason I think that is because there's a cap and a gown. You're graduating to a new level. You're ready to let the seeds, the things that have created seeds in your life, to blow and sow themselves. So you're really taking your time. You're manifesting almost indirectly, very strategically, whatever it is that you're manifesting. And I think for many of you, it's a greater career opportunity that's going to make you happy and more money. Um, again, this Aquarius energy, the samurai. Samurai is very wise, being very strategic about leaving. A, and I think that this is a job because the Eight of Coins is working. I feel as though you feel as though you've been lied to in a work situation or taken advantage of. So as you move forward, there is a desire to break out. A lover may help you, somebody who loves you, somebody who's around you may help you, but I don't see you as needing money. You have the skill set, but it does look like you will have the support of people that you love. It could be a wife, it could be a lover. There's somebody very significant in your life who gives you this level of support emotionally. You're super happy, but you are still restrained by the end of July. Now, what we are going to do is clarify the cards for you so that we can see what this, kind of almost the outcome just says. You're, you're going to break out of jail, quote unquote, but it's, you're actually staying there till the time is right. Okay, so let's see, why do we have the Magician card here for you, Virgo? Four of Cups, so you're manifesting, you're not very happy about your love relationship. The Four of Cups says that you're bored, you're just bored. I mean, for those with whom it does not resonate, you have someone who's really looking at you, gazing at you with great interest, but the Four of Cups says you're not really taking their offer of love, that you you don't know how you feel about that, but you manifested this. The Moon card, the Karma card says that there's something about this interaction that wasn't fair. The World card says that it was a major relationship in your life, or it has been. But, you know, when I looked at the cards, what I'm seeing here, again, the Magician card is clarifying the Magician card. So what I'm getting from this is that you've had happiness with... It, it doesn't look like... You're having great happiness. We see the Sun card and the Nine of Cups, the two happiest cards in the deck. But it does look as though you're really manifesting something or you're manifesting your way out of a relationship that has you feel has been karmic. You feel like you owed this person something. You feel as though you know, you're very bored, you, you're very disengaged, but, you know, when we look at the card of the world card, you, you want what's good for your person. So for many of you Virgos, you may be making a decision strategically to break up with somebody or into marriage or walk away from a relationship, but you're not speaking about it at this time. I don't think you're in any kind of an argumentative mood. I think you've made your decision. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Oh, the Page of Pentacles. A nice plan to be happy. Nice. Why is the King of Pentacles here? You're coming in as being very successful. Seven of Wands energy. Seven of Wands energy. Okay, so why is the Seven of Wands here twice? That's defending your turf. King of Cups. So you've had to defend your heart. You've had to defend your heart. You've had to defend your money. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay, for so for some of you, you're in a situation in which you're not being chosen or you're not choosing a current partner. Take it as it resonates because we see partnership up here sort of dissolving because you're manifesting something new. 
you want to be happy, you're very comfortable with your financial life right now, but it does speak to the fact that you you might feel as though you have to, you're competing with somebody. That Seven of Wands energy says that you feel you're competing for a particular love interest that you'd like to have and or business opportunity. Remember, partnership, seventh house is not only marriage partners, but all your business associates who are your equals. Nine of Wands, okay. So you've done the hard work. You do feel as though you've done a lot of hard work and that you deserve a lot more than you've received. So whatever business transaction, you should be the King of Pentacles. And yet, so for some of you, you're being paid less than your value. And the Ace of Swords came up to clarify that for me. The Eight of Cups says that you're unhappy with that. The Knight of Cups, again, the Knight of Cups is saying that you want to... Um, find a new offer, a new place to work. Four of Swords says that you feel sort of physically exhausted. And we're getting this energy of the Two of Pentacles. You feel like you can't make a choice. Timing is everything right now. Virgo, you're going to be able to leave this place. You've got Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups twice. So you're definitely leaving. You're definitely going for more money. You definitely feel as though people around you have really, you know, taken more than their fair share. You're not really having it. The Eight of Coins says that you, you're you going from a situation of being an employee into developing the mastery to go alone. You're, 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 I would have to say for most of you, you're being overworked and underpaid. I definitely am feeling that. What are you going to do about that? Because it says you're going to let something go here. The Six of Cups, somebody with whom you've had, you have good business relationships. It looks as though you may take a step backwards to go forward. That's your card, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. It's telling me that you may go back to an old job. You may go back to doing business the way that you did in the past. You may work independently now and take a little bit less pay and have more freedom. You're afraid of competition, so if you are, a lot of earth signs are in are contractors, or they deal with earthly goods, you know, like stocks and bonds and stuff. So whatever that is, you, you fear competition, but the sun card says you don't need to. You know darn well that your work is amazing. You know for a fact that people are always happy with you. Yeah, Page of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. You're going to get out of this energy. You're not going to let anybody take anything. You're going to move quickly enough now to not let anybody really take advantage of you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Four of Wands, some of you are staying in a marriage or you feel stuck in a marriage. You can get out, obviously, but... You like the stability of marriage. You like to be married, or, or for most of you, you do. The Queen of Cups energy. Again, Queen of Cups clarifying the Queen of Cups. The Four of Wands, which is a good marriage, but it looks like you feel imprisoned by it. I don't think you think anything's wrong with the marriage, and yet you're bored. The Seven, yeah, Seven of, oh, you are holding yourself back. Okay, so for most of you, what I'm seeing here is that you're in a relationship that you're bored with, you'd like to be out of, you don't really feel like you have a good excuse to get out of it. We get the star card, but there is somebody, you want your happiness, you're basically showing up as happy, but you are going to upgrade your career, you'd like to upgrade your love life, and yet you feel like it's not appropriate, it's not time, it's not the right thing to do. You do like your home life. So let's look at the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So I hope that, um, I hope you resolve that relationship issue because it's a difficult space to be in, right? Eight of Swords all up in your head. And yet you're walking away from a relationship. But I feel as though you're not going to fight. I don't think you're going to do it yet. I think that's off in the future because you're holding back. You're not really making a decision. You're you're, tr you're not juggling two people, but you would prefer if you could. The focus, okay? So your outcome card is focus, trust, okay? Building trust in a situation. Trusting yourself, all purity and security. Okay. So Virgo, you know, you are an earth sign. You are very geared to uh, security. 
So for many of you, you know, it looks like you're going to linger on in a relationship and leave at a, d a different time. But for many of you, you're going to walk away now. Sending you love, Virgo. I hope you have a great July. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.